very good morning guys how on earth are we this morning hope everyone is well um, as you can probably hear I'm still slightly suffering um, <laughs> I'm glad I finished the, the vlog when I did last week uh, because Thursday Friday I was rough and I mean really rough um, so much so I couldn't talk to my mates um, it just hurt to speak um, it was just just a bit of a nightmare really um, I'm just setting up now see if this the charger's at home and I've still got full battery on it well that's good so I don't know why it's running out in no time at all when it's out here a bit weird that So I'm just deleting all the files from last week's blog. Phone one setting up. Front camera is up and ready to rock and roll. Back one's there. I'll put that up there in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. It's all starting to go down to the chest now, which isn't nice. Um, right, this morning uh, it is Wednesday. It is five past ten. Um, Again, didn't start first thing this morning, it was too dark, uh, so I couldn't really do much. Um, I am in Newport, uh, come up from Southampton. I was at uh, Winnell uh, Industrial Estate last night, for the night, uh, parked up. Um, started this morning at, what time did I start this morning? Six o'clock, uh, it was due to about 10 past eight. No, you see, so in so. Um, yeah, I was due to get here about 10 past 8, and I eventually got here at 10 past 9. Spent an hour over on the Queensway Meadows because unfortunately there was a, an accident um, on the main Spitty Road there uh, between a scooter and a lorry, apparently. So we got, all got held up. Um, so I was booked in for 9 o'clock, so I was only 10 minutes late. But well, I should have been there at 10 past 8. And uh, there was also another one. There's a, there's a 40 foot container on this side from Pentalva. Uh, he was stuck in it as well. He was a couple of lorries in front of me. So I think he should have been there about 8 o'clock ish. So uh, yeah, we both romped up at the same time. Uh, he's on the bay being tipped now. Um, I've just pulled on the bay 5. They've opened me up. Um, so I think they're going to start tipping me in a minute. Not quite sure how long it's going to take. Uh, but I've been here an hour now. So. It was about 40 minutes over there, uh, waiting to come onto a bay because I had to move some of the trailers. Um, so yeah, hasn't been too bad. So I was a bit like that whether I was going to do a vlog today or whether I was going to leave it till Thursday, Friday, see if my voice cleared up a little bit. But um, let's do that window up there. Yeah, I I thought well why not? Innit? So we'll. Uh, We'll start the day off. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing from, from here. Uh, I know I'm going to be local-ish uh, because it's Wednesday and I'll be going home tonight. Uh, go see Claire. Um, I'll be working Saturday again, uh, which would be nice. Um, so I'm home tonight and I'll be back out tomorrow, Friday night, and home Saturday again then. So, yeah, all good. Um, it's been a busy two days. Uh, I've literally used both my 10 hour drives this week so far. Um, yesterday I did a 10 hour drive on about 13 and a half hours working time. And Monday night uh, I did a 10 hour drive on a 14 hour 58 working time day. <laughs> so yeah, it was a busy one on Monday. Uh, done a few miles. Um, since Monday, I 
think I've clocked up nearly 2,000 kilometers so far this week. So I've, I've, I've been a busy boy. Um, but it's all good. All good. So anyway, I thought I'd say good morning. I say I don't know what I'm doing from here now. So as soon as I know, I'll come back to you, let you know. Uh, might do a little time lapse when I leave here. Uh, we will see. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's see what this day brings and the next couple of days maybe. Know whether it's going to be a two or a three day vlog, we'll see. See what we get in today and tomorrow. Uh, maybe continue into Friday. But uh, yeah, feel a lot better than I was over the weekend and uh, Thursday, Friday of last week. I was really rough. Um, I've still got the strepsils there. I've still got uh, Sudafed because all my sinuses all built up and I've never had sinus pain before. And, oh my god, not pleasant. Uh, I've even got the old uh, Sudafed nasal spray as well because when I wake up first thing in the mornings at the moment I'm just so bunged up it's it's unreal so I spray up each nostril and 10 minutes right as rain um, I can still breathe through my nose now but it does still sound like I'm a bit blocked but I'm all good all good uh, so yeah as I said I've, I do feel a lot better um, so yeah we just crack on with the week now uh, so yeah as soon as I know what I'm doing I'll come back to you let you know and uh, I'll speak to you soon, guys. Doodles. Hey guys, right, uh, update for you. I did start the records, so I mean, on the way cr across, but um, guess what? Battery's gone on my microphone cam again. It's full this morning. I don't know. Know what's going on with it. And I just had a thought now. Remember, they got some spare bits and bobs in here. So I'm wondering if my spare bit. <laughs> Is that my GoPro? I can't remember if that's my GoPro battery. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> oh, I don't know. No. There's a bugger. Yeah, it's just slightly smaller. Oh well. I've got it somewhere. I haven't got a clue where it is, but I've got it somewhere. I know there's a spare GoPro battery somewhere. I got so much spare bits and bobs here for cameras. Nope, not there. Not there. Oh, I don't know. I'll find it. it. May even be in my rucksack. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? <coughs> anyway, um, over in Barry, 
Um, <coughs> I left Newport at 10 past 11. Uh, stood over the yard of the box taken off. Quick hop over to Freightliner. Uh, box put on. And then over to Barry where I am now, SPEX batteries. Um, and there's one of my colleagues already in there now. So I'm going to put the kettle on, have a cup of tea, have a sandwich. And uh, wait for him to come out. Should be about 20 minutes, half hour, I would think. Um, and I'll get in there and tip, and then find out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I got a feeling there's not going to be much in this one today, um, but I'll continue it on throughout the week, though, anyway. So whether it be up until the end of tomorrow or end of Friday or whatever, I don't know. But we will see. Sort something out. Right, I'm going to put a kettle on. I'm going to have a cup of tea just so I give you an update. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. All right, guys, long last, all done in Barry. It is now 25 to 4. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, I had to wait a little while for my colleague to come out. And uh, right, I've just lengthened my trailer back out. Um, yeah, I had to wait a while, uh, about an hour, for my colleague to come out. And then I've gone in and I've literally just a second come out, rang the office. So I gotta go back to the yard now. And uh, when I get to the yard, give the office a ring. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, set the trailer up for the morning. Because it's Wednesday and I'm going home tonight. Sort of come to an arrangement. <laughs> They get me home on a Wednesday, I'll run in for two Saturdays, not a problem. So uh, that's what we're doing, and that way I still get my four nights out. And uh, I get home to see Claire as well during the week. Doesn't matter what day it is, uh, I mean last week I was home on the Monday. And I was out for the rest of the week then. Um, but this week I'm home on Wednesday. Uh, it's not too bad to get home on the Wednesday, it breaks the week up. And uh, it's only a couple of nights away from Claire, and then I'm back with it, and then a couple of nights away, and then back with it. So it's nice. I like the way this works. Uh, Claire likes the way it works. So each to their own. Oh. Everything's sliding, yep. I got my top shelf. Too much stuff on you. Too much stuff. Uh, put that away in a bit. Right, that should be good now. So, I'm about, it's only 20 minutes from here now, back to the yard. Uh, it's literally just through Dennis Powers, onto the link road, and into the dock. It is as simple as that. So today isn't going to be much in it, <laughs> but that's why I do a couple of days because I know one of the days are normally going to be quite quiet. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, as you can see, I've still got the remnants of a cold, but I'm a uh, hundred percent better than I was last week. Hundred percent. So I'm on the mend, which is good. Thanks to Strapsils, Sudafed and lamp sips. <laughs> um, but I haven't had any Sudafeds today. Uh, I had a little squirt of the old nasal spray this morning. It makes me feel a little bit better. And it's pretty good. It lasts up to about eight to ten hours. A bit tight. Hey, you want hanging about. Um, so yeah, I recommend the nasal spray if you're full up with a cold. It does block the old nasals. Uh, unblock them, I should say, not block them. Unblock the nasals. It's very good. I would highly recommend. Um, sometime during this vlog as well, I would like to talk about um, a book that I've been sent. Uh, it's very, very good. Very good for uh, new drivers. So I will talk about that at some point. Um, and also... Um, Believe it or not, a fragrance company 
Um, and I've got to be honest, I'm really impressed with them. So I'll be talking about that during the vlog as well at some point. But uh, that's all to come. <laughs> Something to look forward to, maybe. Or maybe not. Who knows? I've noticed as well, there's, um, there's a quite a few new vloggers out there as well. Um, not going to mention them at the moment. I want to see how they get on. But I have messaged them and uh, congratulated them on what they're doing. So I'm going to keep an eye out and uh, see how they get on, see how they do on their own. Which is what I should have done with the others really, but um, we'll see. So they come along and uh, once they get to a certain point I'll give them a mention and hopefully we can get the subs up a little bit more as well. Um, but one is a lady. She's just passed the test and uh, I know she watches my vlogs so you know who you are. So keep doing what you're doing as I said to you yesterday on, uh, on a message and uh, we see how things go. Excuse me. Oh, okay. I just can't wait to get rid of all this now because it's, mo it's moving down to the chest now. Still a little bit nasally, but um, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. What have I been waffling on for now? Oh, nearly six minutes. That's not too bad. That's doable. That's put upable. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm going to head back to the yard now, uh, find out what's going on find out what I'm doing uh, see what's going on as in what box is going on and where I'm going with it and uh, and we go from there so uh, I'm gonna crack on and I will see you down at the yard we'll catch you in a bit guys emptying down but still washed it at least I know it's clean um, early start in the morning I'm gonna be down in Saltash for nine o'clock which is the other side of Plymouth uh, picking up a load of tires pick them up um, I think it was my first or second week when I was here um, yeah so I got an early start down at Saltash in the morning uh, be there for nine o'clock so I'll be out here for about Quarter past half past five, and over to Southampton with that, then. So that's going to be a, more or less a full day tomorrow. Straight down to Salt Ash, load the tyres up. It's a lot of um, old tyres they put on. I don't know where it goes, but take that over to Southampton, and that'll probably be me done for the day tomorrow. So, yeah, so it'll probably be a quiet one tomorrow as well, as in fog things wise or whatever. So, yeah. Uh, but we we'll see, see what the day brings. Um, I'm going to finish my paperwork off now and then I'm going to shoot off home. Um, have a quick bite to eat, shower. I'm going to pick Claire up then 8 o'clock, she finishes work. And bring her home and then uh, settle for an hour, put my feet up, go to bed, and then come back in in the morning. So, yeah, that's me for the day. I'll catch you in the morning, guys. Doodles. Morning guys, how the devil are we? Let's get out of the yard, 
I'm going to get my trailer. It is quarter past five. But then since five. You oh. Two minutes, 50 seconds faster. Oh, oh, oh. want to take it. Uh. It's taking me nasal spray. I forgot to take it home with me. <laughs> I still sound a little bit bunged up this morning. And put the front one on because you're not going to be able to see anything for the minute anyway. So, just so I'd say good morning whilst I'm going round to get my trailer. Uh, I can't remember whether I said last night what I was doing today, um, but I'm actually going down to Salt Ashes. Sorry, guys, don't know why that turned off then. Just decided it wanted to turn itself off. Very strange. Um, what was I saying? Yes. Um, Going down to Salt Ash this morning, uh, I've got an empty container on, uh, going down to a uh, tyre place. Um, I think I did this one, uh, I think it was the first or the second week I was here. I actually stayed down in Salt Ash that night. Um, and that goes over to Southampton. I can't remember whether I said I, I was, whether I, no, I don't know, I can't remember. Slept since then. Who knows? No. I put a little cone in front of my trailer last night so no one takes it. Hopefully the cone's still in the way. It is. Yes. Do for me. I'll go move my cone and I'll hitch up to the trailer. Alright. Uh, I don't know why that is. I can't see. It's a bit dark. And whether the battery's low on it. Don't know. I'll have to get it on charge now. Anyway, um, I'm going to hitch up to this. I'm going to crack on down and I will speak to you when I'm sort of halfway down and it's a bit lighter and you can see things. And so I just thought I'd say good morning and uh, speak to you in a bit, guys. Toodles. Hey, guys. All right, I am down in Plymouth just going across the Tamar Bridge and I am literally two and a half or two and a quarter miles from my destination so I thought I would take you in with me again <coughs> excuse me lots of boats on the river today all parked up or moored up should I say how much it costs them to actually moor up down by here? Um, there's loads that side, loads that side. I don't know. Things you think of when you cross the Tamar, eh? <laughs> and we are now entering Cornwall. I gotta come back this way as well, and then I gotta pay a toll. I think it's six pounds for heavy goods, I think. Something like that. I get it back anyway, so. I could go round, but it's a very long way round. So that's about 45 minutes to the journey, something like that. I can't remember what the speed is in here. 30, that's right. Got to take your time through the Tamar Tunnel. Otherwise you will get a ticket. As you can tell, because everyone is crawling through here. <laughs> And the last I came here, was, this is either my first or second week that I was with the company. And uh, <laughs> I remember then coming out, coming back across, I'm thinking, is there a toll on the team? Well, it wasn't coming that way. I wasn't sure on this way. And then I saw the sign that's by there on the opposite side. 
It says toll. <laughs> so I had to try and turn around on the bottom, come back up. We're parked up in a lay by that's just up on the left here. Let's close that window up a bit. Um, and then they walked up to the garage at the cash point because they don't very often carry cash for me. But I made sure I got cash for me today. Yeah, parked up on this little lay-by here. And I walked. Yes, I walked. <laughs> Glad I'd had, I would have had that because she knew I'd walk somewhere. All the way, and it's a pill as well. Terrible. But I'm going to be turning left here now. And then onto the industrial estate. And I gotta suss it out on the bottom then whether I can actually turn around around the bottom because I gotta do a blind reverse in to the area and then into the gate then which will be on my right side. But it's that blind reverse into the main bit to begin with. It's a bit of a pain. Because there's uh, normally cars parked there where there was last time anyway. Da, 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 da. Road, then you have reached your destination. Uh, I stay. Where did I stay? I don't want to be going down there, do I? I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, can't remember which way I went. No, I think it was that way. Yeah, I gotta go back round. Listen to the sat nav, Matt. <laughs> Oh, horrible when this gets down onto your chest. Round and round the roundabout. Oh. Yes, I remember it now. Yes, because where that Vauxhall place is on the right is where I packed up overnight. Evans has let me through. Thank you all. Da 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 da. Ah, right. Yeah, I stayed down by there on the right hand side. That's what I packed up for the night. And this other place is right down the bottom. And if there's cars parked, that means I'm going to have to reverse back up into there, turn around, and then reverse down, and then blindside it in. After 100 yards, you have reached your destination. La-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. That's... Yeah, it's all cars parked here. I'm not going to be able to turn around by here. Oh. Lorry's coming up as well. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Double check, nothing behind me. La da 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 on just to make sure people know that I'm going backwards. Right, I'm going to try and blindside it into this turn in here now. So I'm just hoping nothing comes round as I'm going round. Dee 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 dee. Ok, 
looking good so far. Nothing down there. Bum, 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 bum. Is that a car park there? Yes, there's a car park right on the edge. Now move forward a little bit. Just so we can get around that car. And there's a lorry coming out the other side now. Lovely. Stay there, pal. Do, 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 do. No worries, mate. Cheers, buddy. Reverse down, so this lorry didn't come all the way down now. A uh -oh -oh. little bit tighter. Watch the curb, Mark. There we go. Da 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 And reverse down. Bit of an awkward angle as well, this bit of road. What I'll do is I'll just pull up over here on the right. I'll pop down and see them so they can get all the cars moved. And then I'm going to have to blindside it into the turn in there. And then I can go in through the gate then on the right hand side. entrance up. If I stop there, it should be okay. Right, let's put my boots on, walk down there, have a chat with them, and I'll come back to you in a bit, guys. Doodles! Hey, guys. Okay. This is going to be fun. Um, moved a couple of cars for me. But it's still going to be a tight left and a blind side in. So I'm going to need to get the right angle. And I got the side camera going as well. Right. <laughs> Do I want to be catching this on film? <laughs> Just getting that angle right to get the turn. Right. It doesn't help with the sun glaring down as well, right in the mirror. You need to come on my outside now, pal, so I can see you. Okay. Am I up with those cows on the outside, me there? Yeah, you want to you go back a bit more. Get into the square walk, 
Yeah. gate is just as awkward and I gotta reverse it onto a, a ramp that can't be moved <laughs> sticking out on the left there. And I've got to be very careful I don't hit with the trailer. I should probably be all right because that's my swing. Bloody car now. Sorry for swearing. Yeah? Fence on the left. <coughs> Opening the doors a second. Oh, straighten you up. Just loosened off. As you can see through the side camera, it's not the uh, easiest of places to get to. If that Sportage or that high end I want in the way, I could have got a better swing. Well, they had to be, I think about seven or eight inches off the back end of that car then. A 
bit warm now. <laughs> I think they got the doors open. I think. If I remember correctly, I got it on the ramp this time, but the cab was still on an angle. Need to come out a bit more, yeah? Bit more. So careful because I got this flipping fence right on my left. quite getting it. I'm so close to that fence on the left, it is unbelievable. If I get any much closer, I'm going to be taking a sign of my truck out. I'm just so, what's the thing about that fence oh, over there? <laughs> I've got, I, I was watching that mate. You just have to come over that an inch pole, look at it, don't you? On this side. It's fine. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it keeps coming. That should be fine, drive. Right. Just get out. Get a tuck in there and nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I did it first time last time. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, not a problem. I'll put the kettle on. Cheers, buddy. Oh, sorry, they've got, they got some here. Thanks, mate. <laughs> they are as good as gold in here, i got to be fair. They're, uh, it's only my second time here, but this guy that was um, backing me in, um, 
It was your last time when you sorted me out with uh, water and everything else because I was really low on my water and whatnot. So yeah, it was really good. So anyway, I <laughs> hope you enjoyed that little bit of experience there. How long has that been going for? 12 minutes, oh, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, not the easy, easiest of manoeuvres and uh, it didn't help with that Sportage or that Hyundai by there. If that Hyundai wasn't there, it would have been a lot easier. I could have got the swing a little bit quicker, but never mind. I'm on, that's the main thing. And I'm literally, <laughs> uh, I'd say about four inches away from the fence. Let me just show you, so you can see how close I am to the other side. There's the mirror. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. Uh, there's the mirror, look. Whether you can see, well, that's how close I am to the fence. <laughs> Just by there. It's, uh, it's rather close, if I can get a bit closer. But yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's how close it was. Let's put you back on there. Yeah, so there we are. Anyway, um, I didn't think, oh, I didn't put that front one on, did I? I didn't need to. Right. Um, okay, I'm going to have a cuppa. <coughs> um, I know the gentleman swore by there, though. I'll see if I can beep that out. Um, but yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna have a cuppa while they're bouncing me about in you. <laughs> you can feel. Oh dear me. And I will uh, I'll come back to you when I'm on my way up to Southampton. I'll catch you in a bit guys. Doodles. Alright guys. Oh. I'm in Southampton dark! Just uh, taking my box off. I'm going around the other side of the dock now. Uh, into Pendalva. Uh, to pick a box up. Empty box, as I thought. Going down to St. Austell for the morning for 9.30 collection. Um, got about an hour and 20 minutes drive time left on a nine. So I'm gonna get as far as I can tonight. Which means I haven't gonna get up so early in the morning. It's uh, quarter past four at the moment. So all depending on how long I'm in Pentalva for. So I could quite possibly be in here an hour or so, but who knows. The way that Pentalva runs, you could be in and out, five, ten minutes, or you could be in there for an hour and a half. I'll soon find out now when I get in towards the, uh, the entrance and see what the queue's like. <coughs> Excuse me. What this guy in this new Honda is doing, I don't know. FSCW. Just around the corner from us, there. They're uh, going into transfer area three. I was literally queuing out to the roundabout to go in, and then you had to wait for a slot to be allocated. Then normally you get an allocation of a slot as soon as you put your reg number in. Uh, I had to wait about five minutes to be allocated a slot. It was really busy there today. It's uh, one of those things. But I'm not worried, I've got plenty of time. Um, so I'm just going to pick this empty box up now and run out towards Cornwall as uh, far as I can on the time that I've got left. And we go from there then. Um, So I started, as you know, at six o'clock this morning. Ooh, looks busy in that coming out anyway. Um, no, started at five this morning, not six. <coughs> started at five, so I've got until eight o'clock because I can do a 15, but my allotted time left for driving. I'd be lucky if I do a, tw uh, a 13 today, so I'll have an 11 off tonight which gives me then a 15 hour day for tomorrow which uh, is very helpful for a Friday although I am I know I'm going to be out tomorrow night anyway without a shadow of a doubt
guy in his Emmy and thinks he's in a rally, I think. Uh, it's not too bad, actually. Which way is he going? He's obviously in a priority lane. Yeah, guy by day is actually telling him to slow down. Alright, um, I'm going to go forward now, I'm going to get out, I'm going to sort my twist locks out, ready for a 20 footer, and then uh, I will come back to you when I'm leaving here, so I'll speak to you in a bit guys, doodles. Evening guys, <sighs> right, <laughs> oh, nightmare, actually gone over my 9 hours, by 4 minutes, on the A31, and the last two laybys were chock a block. Couldn't stop in any of them. Um, and then between the last one and where I am now is about 20 minutes. And what I've had to do is go down to the. I'm, um, I'm at Bear Regis on the A31. And there's a services, well, a garage just down the road there in a roundabout. And I've come from this direction down. Um, but I've had to go to the roundabout, turn around, and come back. Because there's a small lay-by on the other side, there's a lorry in there. So I've had to come up around the roundabout and come back and park at the front of this one. Uh, just about got in, because uh, there's a fridge lorry that's parked smack bang in the middle. Rather than moving up to the front or staying at the back, he's parked in the middle. And there's a car there as well. Um, so I've sort of had to come to the end, pull up onto the top. Um, so at least if he's leaving before me in the morning, he's got room to get out and whatever, so, yeah. So I've got four minutes over, so I've had to do my printout and uh, put on there that uh, I've got four minutes over my nine hours. And it's 8.31, know where to stop safely um, and then sign it. So that covers me. Uh, four minutes isn't too bad anyway. Uh, it's nothing to scream and shout about, so should be fine, but it's an infringement, so hate getting infringements there's nothing I could do about it couldn't stop in the middle of the road so anyway I'm parked up now um, I'm gonna crack on in the morning I'm about uh, three and a half hours away so I need to be there for 9 30 so I need to be away from here by six o'clock the latest um, I'm gonna try and get away from about half past five if I can but uh, I'll speak to you in the morning anyway I'm gonna continue the vlog into tomorrow so, uh, so yeah, I'm going to call it an evening, and I get my oven out, get some food on, get the kettle on, and then uh, I'll catch you in the morning, guys. So until then, toodles! Very good morning, guys and gals. I am in St. Hostel. Um, started at quarter to six this morning. I uh, did all my checks, got away by six o'clock, and I got here for quarter past nine. It's now ten to ten. It's booked in for half past nine. There's one in on the base tipping at the moment, well, loading at the moment. I think he's just finished because he's, I think he's just stretched his trailer out. So I'm just waiting to go in there. Now I'm going to reverse in and uh, head back to Southampton. So I just thought, I didn't come in first thing this morning because it was pitch black. There was no lights anywhere in the lane, you know, in the, and on the A35, not a lane. A35, no, no lights whatsoever. So you probably would hardly have seen anything anyway. So and I'll leave it till this morning. And I was going to do it coming in and then... Went to start my uh, GoPro 3, uh, with the one I use for the mic, and it's dead. And it's pointless trying to do anything while the vehicle's moving, because the audio is not very good. So I thought, well, I'll wait till I get in there, I'll sort all the paperwork out, get everything done, and I'll come back to you when, uh, when I was waiting. So that's what I've done. I've made a cup of tea. Priorities. Got my cup of tea. As you can hear, he's stretching the trailer out. I think that's what he's doing anyway. Sounds awful noisy otherwise. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back onto the bay now. Doors are open, ready. I'm going to back down onto the bay, get loaded, which will take about 15 minutes, if that. And then I can head straight off then. Um, I had a 15 minute break at the top there. Um, excuse me. Uh, so yeah, I just need a half hour on the way down. I've got... Uh, what have I got on now? Bum, 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 bum. 
three hours and six minutes driving, so it's taking me three hours to get here. And I got a dip beam light out, that's what that is. Uh, so I've asked Brian to uh, leave a couple of bulbs in my cubby hole for me, so I can do that tomorrow when I get back to the air. Um, so yeah, that's basically it really. Uh, get loaded, I can go straight off because I've had all my paperwork signed. I can head straight off, uh, drive for an hour, um, and I'll have a break, have a half, half hour break somewhere, and I head off to the dock. Probably get to the dock with about an hour's drive into spare, so I'll probably end up in the on the Winnell Industrial Estate again tonight. Um, so we'll just see what happens now with the day. So I will come back to you um, when I'm leaving, I expect, because that camera should be charged up by then, so I can talk to you properly when I'm driving. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Hey guys. Right. And the brakes still on, turn that off. Uh, I'm all loaded. It is now 25 past 11. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, <laughs> ended up. Forgot 10 o'clock, thank you. They go for break for 45 minutes. So, put mine on break. Job done. <coughs> I can run straight through now. But I'm gonna have to stop anyway, because it's just over four and a half hours to get there. It's about four hours and 50 minutes. I haven't put it in the sand now, actually. Normally gives me a rough idea of what time. So just a quick recent destination. Western Dock, Southampton. And drive. It should give me a rough ETA. Um, I'm not gonna, it's gonna wanna take me back over the 35 the way I came over when I was empty. Um, but when I'm loaded, I don't do the A35. Too many hills. Uh, made that mistake the first time I did this job. And I went over the 35 and ended up with the, the brakes steaming and everything. There's lots of smoke coming off them. Yeah, 416, it's 11.26 now, so that's uh, five hours. Just over five hours. Um, I've got the driving time to do it. After 300 yards, bear right. Um, so yeah, what's my driving time on now? Uh, drive, 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 drive. Uh, I've got uh, daily total so far three hours and ten minutes. So that gives me five hours and fifty minutes on a nine. And I haven't got a ten available because I use both of them Monday, Tuesday. So as long as I don't get any delays, I will be in the dock tonight, box off, box on, and hopefully have enough time then to get up to Winnall Industrial Estate and park up for the night. Fingers crossed. But it's Friday. Yes, delays already, look. Tells me where all the delays are too, see? Um, it's, it's only half past, we're well, coming up to 20, it's 27 minutes past 11, so it's coming up to half past 11, and I'm getting 16 minutes worth of delays already, and that's on the 30 and the 38, so that's before I get to the M5, then I've got to struggle, um, I say struggle, I've, then I've got to go up to the, the 30 and then the 303. Now 303 is always a nightmare on a Friday. Um, the worst bit is going past Stonehenge uh, because everyone slows down to look at the stones. And I mean everyone. Um, luckily enough, I went, I went that way late yesterday and uh, it was quiet. But it, obviously with the rain and whatever else, there's not many people out and about uh, going to look at the stones. So. But uh, normally what I do is, uh, just before I get to the stones, I uh, pull off the, uh, the, th the 303 onto the 360, I think it is. Or is it the 36? It's either the 36 or the 360. Down into Salisbury, and I go through to, uh, Salisbury City Centre. And, uh, and down onto the 27 that way. Uh, so, all depends. See what it's like when I get down there. I'll probably go through Salisbury tonight anyway. Um, 
and we go from there really so yes yeah, so that's me so far loaded on my way um, just heading up back up onto the uh, the a30 now <coughs> uh, three quarters of a mile away from the roundabout to uh, to actually drop down onto the 30 I gotta stop for fuel because uh, I've got just under a quarter of a tank so I need to stop for fuel there is that one place when I stopped the other week when I recorded when I was fueling um, that's about 25 minutes away so I'll stop there for fuel and then I'll crack on down to uh, Southampton or say down across across the Southampton so yes okay then right I'm gonna crack on and uh, I'll do a little time lapse now from here to the fuel station as I say it's about 20 25 minutes worth and uh, yes I will catch you um, sometime before I get to Southampton I expect Ooh. watch him so I'll uh, catch you guys in a bit doodles guys how are we doing uh, I've just had a half hour break I think there's a truck wanting to come in here now because I'm gonna be pulling out so just had a half hour break and I'm gonna be heading back down towards Southampton now um, I run a lot of the way with a colleague of mine Alan who is just in front of me there um, He's moved up because he's stopping here the night now. He's been going since three o'clock this morning. Um, I'm going to get down as far as Romsey tonight, which is just the other side of Salisbury. Uh, 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 uh. Say to that to Alan now. Close that window. I'm going to get blown to Billery. All right, I'm heading down now. I will uh, speak to you later. Stay safe. He's stopping here the night because he's uh, he's on just over nine hours driving. He had a ten to do. He was going to try and get down to Romsey, but with the traffic and everything else, the situation at the moment, he's not going to get down there. So he's stopping up here the night. Oh, he's going to let me out. That's very kind of him. Although I'm slowing you down, oh no, he's going to overtake me now. I'll flash him back in now. There we go. Yeah, so um, I'm on the 303. Um, that lay by is the one I normally stay in uh, when I'm heading down to Southampton, but I've still got plenty of time left yet. I have. Uh, come on. 
go. Uh, still got an hour and 56 minutes to drive. So I've got about an hour now, I think. Maybe just under. No, it'll be about an hour. Hour just over. Uh, to get down to Romsey. And I'm going to park up down there for the night. Because uh, according to Alan, uh, it's a... Uh, free to park in there so I will park in there for the evening so at least I'll have some sort of facilities to use if I need to and uh, spoke to Kyle in the office because I was gonna ask her, her opinion uh, what she want me to do because I can get to the dock tonight um, problem being is uh, when I get in there I'll only have like an hour and 15 minutes left on my working time um, I'll have about 45 minutes driving time left Excuse me. Um, so I was going to ask her, you know, what she think. Because every time I've gone down there this week, at that time between sort of five and six, I've been in there over two hours. And if I've only got an hour and fifteen minutes left on my drive, on my working time, it's no good to me. I'd be stuck. Um, but as it happens, the ships that the containers are coming in on have not docked yet. So basically, uh, she said, pack up. And, uh, and go in in the morning um, and she's asked what time roughly would I want a VBS for I said well by the time I get down there I have 11 off I said probably about between 6 and 7 so I gotta give Paul a ring in the morning because uh, he can get a VBS then because the boat will have docked um, and I'll get in there between 6 and 7 then um, and then have this taken off and have the one that I'm taking back to the yard put on the back so that's the plan. So I'm going to crack on down to Romsey. Uh, there's a fuel station there, there's a McDonald's there and everything else. So I might treat myself to a McDonald's wrap this evening. Maybe. We see. It's either that or chicken stew and dumplings. <laughs> so we'll see. We will see. See how I feel when I get down there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it hasn't been a bad run down, actually. Uh, as it's Friday, uh, coming through here, through the 303, uh, normally from the beginning part of the 303 down, it's really busy. But today has been okay. And as you can see in front of me, there's, uh, you know, traffic's running okay. There's nothing major in front. Uh, it has been a little bit busy coming the other way. But uh, coming my way, it's been alright. Not bad at all. Touch wood, quick. Ooh, splinter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on now. Get down to Romsey. Pack up for the evening. And I will come back to you when I'm down there. So I will uh, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. guys all right packed up for the night um, I'm at Romsey I'm at this little um, station that uh, Alan was telling me about and it so happens that my colleague Lee is here as well so uh, I think he's got just gone over to get some food um, 
I've just finished doing all my paperwork and uh, yeah I'm gonna treat myself to McDonald's tonight I get the iPad out put the tally on um, pop something on there and then hit the sack um, and then find out about a VBS in the morning then go and get my box and back to Wales back home to Clare so uh, that's me for this week thank you for sticking with me yet again um, another three day uh, hopefully it won't be too long of a, a vlog this week um, not quite sure I've done a, I think I got about 12 or 13 clips on there now so it's uh, it'll be quite a bit on there but I'm sure I'll sort something out with it anyway I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, as I say thank you for sticking with me and if you are watching this and you haven't subscribed please uh, press the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you get notifications of my videos coming out which is normally on a Saturday night um, obviously don't forget my Instagram uh, my Facebook pages and my Twitter uh, give me a follow on any of those if you like um, try and put something up I haven't done a lot this week on those because I haven't really been feeling that good but yeah uh, put a couple of bits and bobs up this week on there so go check them out guys and uh, yeah that's me for the week so whatever you're doing be safe be good and I'll catch you in the next one guys toodles <laughs>